Young, this is how you make naan without the tandoor oven. Is that in there dry? Get on it. After one minute, it's going to be puffed like that. Brush it with butter and coriander, also known as cilantro. So, and if you like a little more flavor, sprinkle with a little seasoning, either salt or chicken bouillon, then flip, cover back on, one minute. After one minute, oh look at that. is our non. Non-stick pan, no oil, brush on with butter and coriander, as flour, water, yeast, a big glop of yogurt, salt, sugar, and a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. That's it. It had not occurred to me to make a YouTube video <clears throat> out of this naan recipe uh, until I had already started uh, cooking it. Uh, so I will uh, put the recipe and instructions uh, in the description below. But this is the naan <clears throat> batch uh, made on a frying pan. Uh, it's, in my opinion, close enough to the real thing. Uh, it's good enough. Of course, it cannot compete with a tandoor oven, but nothing can. So, without a tandoor oven, this is as good as you're going to get. I should also say, for a young living in college, in a dorm, or an on-campus apartment, or a fresh out of college young uh, living in a flat, you may not have access to a full-sized oven uh, that you would need to, say, bake bread or um, <clears throat> other types of uh, bread products. Uh, but with naan, all you need is a frying pan. Uh, a non-stick frying pan works best, so um, it's perfect. <laughs> 